live show. Okay, live show, okay. <laughs> okay, hello, I'm uh, Shin Young Pa, JYP, you know, uh, you know, you know, okay, whatever. Anyway, just let, let's talk about a little, a little serious things. Okay, just uh, this, oh, yeah, just, you can know, sorry, it's not a first page, so, yeah, yeah, something, could you set up? You know? Yeah. Oops. Okay. Test. Anyway, so I talk about uh, your parents and your grandparents and maybe future me. So I talk about the dementia. So it's not easy to, you know, fact or something, all introduction about the dementia or early dementia or MCI like that. So normally when they they check their dementia. You, uh, you bring your parents, your grandparents, bring to your doctors, they're checking uh, just uh, some questionnaires and uh, some testing the working or some, they spend a lot of money and uh, take a past CD or something MRI like that. But the most important thing is it's a little late. It's, they got the symptom already. So there's no cure yet, right? So a lot of starters, they try to plant and they try to, you know, early detection for the dementia. They're using some, you know, their brain image. They're using some vision sensing. But it's late. So, so Korea, you know, National Institute, KISTI, they answer their 12 years real uh, Korean elderly people's data of 10%. It's a, so, you know, 558,000 uh, elderly actual real data, they just uh, doing their maker AI algorithm. So it's a uh, 10% of it, real Korean elderly data, like, I mean, uh, some patient health record, cohort, everything. Because uh, their uh, government institute, they can use it before the, uh, 2012. Because uh, 2012, uh, in the Korea, it, uh, Private law started, so you know they got every data from the current country. So and then they make algorithm with some PubMed. It's a huge uh, database about the medical, in uh, medical, academical, you know, from the United States. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, passed. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I cannot go back. Okay. So they figure out just a top party uh, risk factor uh, between female and male, they different reason. So and the more, they find out some new uh, risk, risk factors. The AI found out. So even, for example, for there's some vitamin D shortage, you know, medically, a couple of years or they, uh, it's known by the research. But AI, no already. So we using this algorithm, we try to applicate to the, you know, tailor-made, you know, just person to person. If we got the two years, their health record, like uh, what kind of disease, what kind of medicine take, we can uh, predict their, uh, they get dementia or not. So five years earlier, 77% accuracy. At promises, or FSQ, we call it just accuracy in the AI. So five years earlier, over the 77%, three years earlier, 80%, one year earlier, 90%. So we using the AI algorithm, so we, we checking your parents, your grandparents like that. So we just uh, prepare, you know, pilot uh, uh, project in the Korea. So 24 uh, public health center and the eight uh, area. But it, we cannot uh, commercialize in Korea yet. The you know medical service we need some way to you know change the law in Korea. So we, I'm here to just uh, find out some partner here, like hospital or you know something to prove you know our AI algorithm to in the Asia because Asia is over the fifty percent of patients will happen in the until 2050. Of course, in China. India included. So we have uh, some tremendous, uh, you know, team like uh, 
uh, Professor Henan Kim, she, and she was uh, the National Hospital doctor, and uh, uh, Dr. Hun Jin, is, she is the National Institute of Biotechnology, so he, including we, this level we are 19 uh, researchers now trying to uh, change the future of your parents and your grandparents. Thank you. Thank you.